Another three, it's good again. Antoine Davis is on fire. Crossover move from the center this time, no doubt about it. Davis quickly scatters to the hoop, count it. Davis crossover from the free throw line, able to chop that one through. He is a, a, a poster child for someone who's been cut off the seventh grade team, someone that didn't have the size or athleticism uh, that most kids his age had, but just worked relentlessly to become a really skilled uh, player and a great shooter. There's a guy that can turn on at any moment. I think that, that was the excitement for anybody who covered him or came to the games. I mean, he's one of the best scorers in Titan basketball history. I mean, a guy who can just go off for 30 points um, at any time, you know, can really shoot the basketball well. Um, has a great mid-range game that no one even talks about these days because everything's about three-pointers and shooting from distance. I think his final legacy is the reason he came here was to get deep uh, into the NCAA tournament. I've always envisioned us, uh, father and son, playing for a national championship, and we just got to build that, build that, build that. You know, him having all the scoring records, and I think he's 290 points away from 3,000 uh, points, and only four people in the history of college basketball have ever gotten 3,000 points. But uh, to say all of that, it wouldn't mean anything other than his individual accomplishments if we didn't get to the NCAA tournament. I think it's someone who put himself, uh, you know, put his name in record books in the Horizon League, school record books, Horizon League record books, and NCAA record books, and you can make the argument that those accomplishments and what he's done and what he's had to do it against. Is he the best scorer all time? He's certainly up there, right? Um, and I think we talked about it before, never really knowing how many points that you know X, Y, and Z could have had if there was a three-point line back in the day. Um, but I think you know he's still right up there, and you can make the argument that he is the best scorer all time. Certainly the best in you know, the decade and in, in his era. Antoine Davis made his first appearance in a game at Callahan Hall following a three-game road stint to start the year. Coming into the home contest with the Loyola Greyhounds, Davis had already scored 30 or more points in each of his first two games of the season. But on November 19th, 2018, Antoine Davis would show everyone that this was only the beginning. Um, it was just kind of a little unreal, you know, I mean, being at my first home game and, you know, um, first time playing in front of a crowd like that, playing in front of all those people at home, and then it was just like a really good and unreal experience. Despite scoring 42 points in a win for Detroit Mercy and shooting 10 of 14 from three-point range, many believe the best was yet to come for the young point guard, and the nation was about to take notice. I don't know if that's the game or not because it was just like, okay, he got 42 points. It was never like, wow, freshman just scored 42 points. From what I uh, remember, uh, I think it was maybe the 48 points in conference against Wright State, and he didn't take another shot the last five minutes of the game. I don't think anybody thought maybe that he would explode that fast. Um, on the scene, you talk to his dad and you talk to him and they say, eh, maybe, because you, you know, they know how many you know, shots he put up coming into to that season and what he had done leading up to that point. He put on a performance that day um, you know, against Loyola. We didn't have a whole lot of talent on that team, so teams already knew you know, who they had to guard. Um, and for him to you know, go out there and post you know, the 40 plus points and 10 three pointers uh, you know, was kind of amazing. That tied a school record that he's done three times in his career. Um, but I think that really helped put people, you, you know, people to see it, you know, live here in Callahan Hall, what kind of player he would be. Davis catch and shoot three, he hits it! That ties a Detroit Mercier record!
Hits the brakes, works his way into the lane, flips up a wild shot, and he scores. Unbelievable. Antoine Davis with 42 points. Prior to the penultimate home game of Davis's freshman season, the Titan guard was averaging 26 points, three rebounds, and three assists per game while shooting 38% from three-point range. But after a trio of three-pointers against conference rival Oakland University, the only number that mattered was two. Davis needed just two three-pointers to break Steph Curry's freshman record of 122 back in the 2006-2007 season. You know, it's one of those things where you're going into it and you just know, like, hey, he needed, you know, I want to say two or three three-pointers to do it. And I want to say he was 0 for his first four, 0 for his uh, first five, something like that. And, um, you know, you could tell he's probably a little bit nervous. I think he said it afterwards, too. Like, I, I think a lot of people kind of say that at some point you think it's great, great, and then when you get that close, it's like, just wanted to be over. Just let, 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 let me get the couple of three pointers that I need. I just want to play basketball. My mindset for the game, I was just trying to prepare for it like any other game. But it was in the back of my mind that I had a chance to break it. So I was trying really hard to do it. And then I hit the first three. It was easy, came easy. And then the second, like, couple threes went in and out. And I was just like, man, I just want to do it just to break it so I can get it out the way and then want to worry about it. Then, then the second half, it just it came. And then it was just felt like in the moment it didn't feel like how it felt but after the game was over I mean, it was like man I really broke that record. Switch shoes for the second consecutive game at halftime. Davis rises up, line drive, he rips the net! Antoine Davis, the new NCAA record holder for threes by a freshman. And that's what the crowd and that's what everybody's been waiting for. And in the game. Antoine Davis, the basketball for Detroit Mercy, backs up, fires the three for the record. Yes, sir! Move over, Steph Curry! Antoine Davis is an NCAA record breaker. 123 three-pointers for the true freshman. The most by a freshman in the history of college basketball. Well, it was a great feeling, but I can remember us being uh, playing, I think, maybe our first road conference game, and he was at a rapid pace for three at that point. And then I think somebody wrote an article about it, and you can see him start pressing with the threes. And then it went away, and then when he got close to Steph Curry record, I could see him pressing again. When he finally made the three to break the record, it was like a, a weight off everybody's shoulders. And I could see him, because he never really acknowledged it openly that he had an opportunity to get the record. It was more of what other people were saying. And so when he broke the record, you could see him feeling really good about breaking the record without ever even acknowledging that he had the opportunity to break it. So it was like a weight off his shoulders, weight off everyone's shoulders. I think breaking a record like that really put him on the map um, and allowed him to say, yeah, he, he could certainly become the Detroit Mercy all-time scoring leader. And you started seeing Rashad, you know, buzz around Twitter and say, yeah, you know, this guy is the best scorer since me. Um, so I think that's really when it became real. And it was actually really cool to see, like, history in front of you. I mean, you know, you're kind of watching, you're kind of watching always history on TV, you know, in sports, whatever. So it was kind of, you know, amazing to see him just in person break Steph Curry's record. In Detroit Mercy's first three games against rival Oakland University in his junior season, Antoine Davis was averaging 22 points and four assists per game against the Golden Grizzlies while shooting 39% on three-point attempts. On January 23rd, 2021, the Titans would face Oakland for the fourth and final time that season. The Golden Grizzlies entered the game on a 10-game winning streak against the Titans dating back to the 2016-17 season. Behind a 27-point, 7-assist game from Davis, the 10-game winning streak was no more as Detroit Mercy prevailed 82-72 on the road. It was really big. It gave us momentum going into the uh, next couple games. That's just something that we needed to do because, I mean, we felt like we could have beat them at home and we ended up losing at the buzzer, I think, by like three points or like one point. So, I mean, it just felt good to like beat them and then I know all of our fans were happy that we beat them too. Well, I saw a team that was coming together, started believing that they could win, 
uh, guys start understanding their role on the team. And unfortunately, we didn't play afterwards. And we lost to uh, Northern Kentucky on, on the tip at the buzzer. But I thought we should have continued to play because that team was pretty good. And they just, they just started understanding that, okay, and Twan Road is this, Noah Road is that, Boy Note Road is this, and, so, and Chris Brandon Road, and, and Mark Hill, and, and so forth and so on. Everybody started to understand their role on the team, and that's what made us a good team. You know, it's one thing to score 28 points a game, it's another to shoot with a high percentage, and shoot a high percentage from three as well, but it's an even better, you know, to do it while you're also passing the basketball at a very high clip, so that's something you was um, able to do. Up ahead is Waterman. He will make the catch and he will dunk it through. The Titans entered the 2021 Horizon League tournament as the number five overall seed and hosted the number 12 seeded Robert Morris Colonials in the tournament's opening round. Davis set a Horizon League tournament record with 46 points, breaking the previous high of 45 by Xavier's Byron Larkin in 1987. Davis's 24 points in the first half gave him 2,000 for his career, moving him to third all-time in Titans scoring history, passing Dave DeBusher and becoming just the third Titan to reach 2,000 points, along with Rashad Phillips and John Long. You know, a lot of people don't even know who those guys are for real, but I mean, those guys are like really big time players dude from here from Detroit to when they played in the pros and what they did in the pros and you know people take it for granted but I never took it for granted because I knew how special those guys were especially what they meant to this university when he uh, got here he was the quickest at 1,000 I was like wow maybe the coaches he knew what he was talking about because it got a thousand points quicker than anyone I think he may have broke Dave the Bush's record so but I, I've heard of Rashad Phillips and all those guys and uh, the history of Detroit basketball. And for Antoine name to be even mentioned with those guys has been a, a testament of how hard he's worked to, to be a good college basketball player. Yeah, anytime you hit the 1,000, the 2,000, or even approaching 3,000 points, I think that, that puts you right up there. Some contact on that as Davis picks it back up and he is going to be able to dribble out the time. Good defensive play by Noah that time. He was able to get a hand up and Titans, I tell you what, in a battle, this Robert Morris team's got nothing to be ashamed of. Antoine Davis with his fourth career, 40 or more a game, just three points shy of the all-time record for points, period. This one broke the playoff record. Antoine Davis and the Red Hot Titans traveled down to Highland Heights, Kentucky for their second round matchup with the Norse. In what was a back and forth game in a matchup of the fourth and fifth place teams, the largest lead of the second half was the Titans by five. NKU would close the game on a six to nothing run over the final three minutes and 45 seconds of regulation as David Bam hits the putback game winner at the buzzer, ending Detroit Mercy's 10 game winning streak and Davis's junior season in one shot. Um, I mean, you just don't ever want to feel that feeling again. You know, I mean, losing at the buzzer. He had just scored 39 points against, I think, uh, Green Bay before we went down. So he had 46, go down, we lose. 30, 39, 38, go down and lose. And I think a lot of people believed you know, at that point, like, hey, this is a team that could definitely make a run. It's a team that could win the Horizon League. It's a team that could make, maybe even win a couple games uh, in the NCAA tournament. The, the tip and sucked. I mean, just, just bottom line, you know, it, to lose a game like that, it's it's heartbreaking. You go to a hard place to play at NKU, and uh, it's one of the hardest venues to play in the Horizon League. They have a lot of good fans that come there. It's a big building. At the start of his senior season, Davis picked up right where he left off, posting 39 points, 8 assists, and 7 rebounds against Hofstra, and another 19 points, 10 assists, and 4 rebounds against IUPUI in a pair of Titan wins. On December 5th, 2021, Davis hit three-pointer number 349 in his career, which broke the school and Horizon League record previously held by former Titan Rashad Phillips. When I heard it, it was like on the way back home when I read it on somebody said it to me, like, wow, you know, that's 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 special. And so to be the all-time anything other than turnovers is good. <laughs> 
Davis with the record in his sights. Launches the three. Yes, sir! And that'll be the end for this ball game. Detroit Mercy, the Road Warriors, come in and defeat the USC Flames. It didn't take long for Davis to secure another Titans record as on January 7th, 2022, in front of his home crowd, Davis tied a season-high 39 points and claimed the top spot in Titans scoring history. And he did it not at the three-point line, but at the free throw line. Antoine Davis, 2,320 points, the all-time leading scorer for Detroit Mercy. Yeah, and a nice round of applause here by these Detroit Mercy fans. Not knowing that he would come out and have the 39 in that game, I thought it would be another, the next game before he could break it or tie it or whatever it may be. Uh, but that was a, a big deal because he hit a three-pointer, but he stepped on the line and it made it a two instead of a three that would have broke the record. Prior to the game, I knew I needed 30-something points. I don't know what I think it was, 31 points. And so I just was going out because we hadn't played in so long and I had so much adrenaline and I had so much going. And so I was just ready to play and I just ended up breaking the record. Well, a funny story, PJ and I talked about uh, him needing 37 points to uh, break the record. And we had missed home games because of conference play. So I was going to try to schedule the Division II school game after uh, the Milwaukee game just to make up some games. And PJ said, well, I hope he breaks it, you know, against the Division I school because the game that you break it in will always be remembered as that game. For the second straight season, Detroit Mercy would host a first round Horizon League tournament game, this time as the number seven seed hosting the number 11 seeded Green Bay Phoenix. Davis would pour in 38 points, the second most in a game that season, while hitting a season high 15 shots. It was a game that we wanted to win and he came out really aggressive and I think he made six threes in a row. And uh, you know, it was a game that we won big and, and he scored big. And we was facing the same scenario that we did the year before where he had scored really big and played really well going to Northern Kentucky. In what was thought to be his final home game in a Titan uniform, Davis reflected on his time playing in front of his home crowd and believes he saved his best performances for them. Yeah, I believe that. I always believe that. I love playing home games. It was just so upsetting that we didn't get to play as many home games this year, but I love playing in front of the, the fans here in Detroit. He's always talked about, you know, what the fans have meant to him and, you know, their support for him. Um, and I think there's something to be said about chasing records at home, right? It may be a little bit easier to do that than, than on the road and, and knowing your own gym, knowing the shooting backdrop, which he literally, literally takes thousands and thousands of shots. Detroit Mercy one step closer to Indianapolis, one more win before his semifinal berth. Following a season best performance against Green Bay, Detroit Mercy traveled to Highland Heights, Kentucky for a quarterfinal matchup with Northern Kentucky. The Titans took the two regular season meetings against the Norse but the memory of the 2021 quarterfinal game was all too easy to recall. In the game, Davis scored just four points prior to halftime and would finish just five of 17 from the floor and one of seven from three-point range, tallying 17 points in a 77-59 loss to the Norse. For the second straight year and the third time in Davis's four years, the Titans had their season cut short by Northern Kentucky. Shots we normally would make weren't falling, and so, you know, it's just, some stuff you just can't prevent and then you can't really prevent not making shots. Davis and the Titans would participate in the Basketball Classic, traveling down to Florida Gulf Coast University for the tournament's opening round. Davis would finish the game with 24 points, three rebounds, and three assists, but the Titans fell 95-79, to ending their 2021-2022 season. I have no idea whatever God has in store for me, um, whether it be the NBA, whether it be another another year of playing college basketball, I mean, just whatever God has in store for me.